Revly, Revly. All hands heave out. Revly. Good morning, guys. Today I'm going to show you how I prepare an acorn squash right from my garden. And guys, a few minutes ago, my wife did this recipe, stuffed peppers. Now, if you want to see this video, it's on her channel in Spanish. I'm going to link it below, okay? And I'm about to eat my first one here in a second. All right, guys. So as we wait for my squash, I'm going to have a stuffed pepper that my wife just did for her channel. Mm, I took the biggest one. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, check this out. Oh, it's awesome. And I like it. And these are peppers from our garden. All of these peppers are from our garden. You know, I like it so much. I'm gonna have a second one before she even notices. Whoa! She heard it. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So my wife is gonna show me how to do or how to bake an acorn squash. This bake uh, acorn squash is from my garden. So as you know, some of you know, I can't cook anything. I, I haven't cooked in 34 years. My wife has spoiled me all these years. It's all time I can for me to cook now. <laughs> yeah, all I can do is boil an egg, right, Maria? Yeah. That's it. I can boil an egg. That's the only thing I know how to do. All right. But you introduced me to acorn squash about five, six, seven years ago, yeah, maybe. Time ago. And I didn't think I was gonna like it, but the way you made it was excellent, and I learned to love acorn squash the way you do it. So I'm gonna teach you guys, or you're gonna teach me. Mm -hmm. So um, the easy way because yeah. there. A lot of uh, many uh, ways to cook a yeah. squash, many and, ways. But this is the easy way. And so. about a month ago, you did one that was very complicated with a lot of ingredients. That thing no, was no, awesome, yeah. very good too. So mm -hmm. we're gonna do it the easy way. Yeah. All right, the way I learned how to eat this. Okay, so what do I do? Just cut this part. Okay, so I'm gonna mm -hmm. cut this part. So mm -hmm. I have to have a sharp, sharp knife. knife. Uh -huh. And by the way, I've never done this before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's very hard to remove it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, in this end too. Oh, check it out. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now what? This one too. I gotta cut the end? Yes. Okay. Both ends. Both ends, all right. Mm -hmm. a plate? And by the way, this was my very first acorn squash that I harvested from the garden um, about a week and a half ago. Now you have to cook. In half. All right, cut it in, in half, half now. Uh -huh, and remove the all the way. Put okay. it up there. That's it. Okay. Be careful your hands. Okay. Can I do it like this? Uh -huh. You can do it. The easy way for you, I don't know. All right. So do it the, what it, whatever is best for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you gotta cut it in half, mm -hmm. all the way down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Once you get through the skin, I notice that the skin is kind of hard, but once you get through it, it's mm -hmm. good. No. <laughs> but look, look at this. It looks awesome. All right, so we now what are we gonna do? Seat. We gotta take out the yeah, seat, the, the middle part. Mm -hmm. the middle part. Okay. I'm learning something new here. In case you ever go on vacation again, at least mm -hmm. I can. I know how to do this. Hey, I can look at this video. And you can uh, put this seat in the oven. And don't throw away. Some people like to wash this and put it dry a little bit and put it, bake it for a couple minutes. Uh, so, okay, so yeah. bake the seats for two yeah. minutes. You can eat them. Yeah, you can eat it. No, no. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know that. So. Yeah. No, All right. Okay. So how am I doing, Maria? Good. Let me bring a. Looks good enough for government work, right? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do the other one. Uh -huh. Looks good? Yeah. Okay. Now, what if I took these seeds and saved them for, you know, for like plants next year? Oh, I never did it before. No, no. You okay. can try. All right. I can try that as well. Mm -hmm. I can dry out the seeds yeah, maybe and plant them 
next year. I mean, it's too late now to plant them. It's mid-August. All right, what does it, looks yeah, good? Just, yeah. <laughs> now you can uh, use the brush. No. All right, so what do we have here? We have this a brush. A little, hold on, this is a little, let me see if I can do something. Here. Give me your knife. Okay, what are you doing? Just to cut a little bit in the brush. Okay. Cut a little bit in the back so it's yeah. kind of like stays even. Mm -hmm. Make it a little flatter. Yeah, a little bit. No? This is a little. Okay. Way too much, but anyway. Now you use the oil, any kind of oil. Uh, okay, what kind of oil is this? This is olive oil. Olive oil? Yeah. Alright, so what am I going to do? You just brush oil. All uh, over? Yes, all, all over, over on top? All over the top and the sides too. Alright, so, so I'm going to brush olive oil. All over the top. Mm -hmm. You know what? Let me move the camera down a little bit so they can see as well. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add this olive oil everywhere. Now, what if I didn't have olive oil? What can I use? Is there butter. Any? I can use butter, and I think oh, you yeah. used butter before, right? I used butter before, yeah. Okay. But you can use uh, you can put the butter at the end when it's already cooked. You okay. Can with a little but, table. Spoon of uh, oil at the end. Okay. Some people use uh, put uh, cinnamon and honey. Cinnamon but and honey. I don't know. I never tried that that way. No, I tried. You made it That's with butter. That's the way I like it. You know, you, you like it too. You made it with butter before, mm -hmm. and I like it with butter and olive oil. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I'll mm -hmm. take any excuse to eat olive oil with any of my meals. Mm -hmm. Super healthy. This is 100%. What, uh, what do you call it, virgin olive oil? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Virgin. All right, what do I do now? Salt and a little bit of salt. A and little bit of salt. Okay. No pepper like eggs? We can put pepper on me, but we can do that. Is that good? Yeah, it's good. Just a, a pinch yeah. of salt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And All right. you put it in the oven for uh, 45, 50 minutes, depending on the size of uh, your cocoa. Is this you big or, large or small? I think that's large. Okay. I will put it for 50, 50 minutes. All right, so 45 minutes to 50, 50 minutes, mm -hmm. depending yeah. on the size. If it's small, 45, this is large, so it's 50 minutes in the oven. Mm -hmm. Temperature? 400. 400 five. degrees. Okay, let's take it over. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whoa. It's already mm -hmm. preheated. I'm gonna slide it in for 50 minutes and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna tell Alexa to go ahead and set, set the timer for 50 minutes, right, yes. Maria? Alexa, set a timer for 50 minutes. 50 minutes, starting now. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go, guys. It's done. What my wife told me to do was to add a little bit of butter. See, a little chunk of butter. Just put it in there like so and spread it a little bit until it melts mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> I like it already it smells good yep I'm just waiting for it to melt and then I'm gonna eat it just like that, right, Maria? Yes, salt and pepper if you want to. Okay. I, I'm not going to add any more salt. I'm not really a salt fan. Oh. However, I'm going to add a little bit of pepper. Pepper! Are you, didn't we add salt already a little bit? Yeah, we did. Right before we baked it. There we go. Just a little bit of pepper. Doesn't that look good? All right, so I'm gonna wait five minutes until it cools down, then I'm gonna chow down. Okay, I let about five minutes pass and we're ready to dig in. Maria, you want another one? Okay, this is for my wife. Thanks for teaching me how to do it. <laughs> and... The same as I remember. <laughs> Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this the butter, 
gives it a special, mm -hmm. special flavor. Mm -hmm. So I highly recommend it. Now, the acorn squash is the only one you do this way. You don't do that with a uh, butternut squash, right? It's different. No, it's different. All right, I guess we're gonna have to do a butternut squash sometime in the future. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so I really like this and I'm gonna do it many more times. Now, they call this a winter squash because this squash will preserve for four to five months. I'll be eating it well into the winter. I like the summer squashes. The summer squashes is only good for a few weeks, but this will last for months, you know, due to its very thick skin. Okay, guys, you have a good morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you are. We'll see you later. Bye.